So you're doing 5,000 damage. You're still left with 50% health. So you've not changed anything. And that that's where things start getting into a dangerous point of having to change all of these stats. What these monsters are doing. How's it going to affect PvP? How's these stats going to affect one another? You're talking about changing specifics like each individual stat how what what's that going to do to all of these character builds you know everything does it promote more cookie cutting you know saying you got to play this way this certain build is the best of builds because this stat can do, do this to whereas this other stat can't does it do that or does it actually promote what they're trying to do and say it's going to open up the window even more. More diversified builds. You know, go in. You want to be DPS? Experiment. You can do it freely without having to feel like you have to choose certain abilities, but you're going to get into DPS. That I think that that's where they're trying to go, is they're trying to say, if you want a DPS, go DPS, but do it dynamically. Diversify. Be, feel like you can explore without having to say, I've got to get a destruction staff, and I have to have this certain amount of stats because that's where the game is right now but if they said i want to be a dps well how do you want a dps you want to use a bow okay use a bow do you feel like you should have to use arrow spray or whatever it is no i don't really want to use arrow spray i want to use snot with something that pins on the ground i don't know just let people experiment but make them dedicate to something mega thank you for the uh, the follow man new follower Yeah, and it's going to take time, Torrenson. It really is. Uh, he says, that's exactly my point, Def. Uh, they all have these awesome ideas, but no idea how they all work together. Uh, I like the small-scale health pools and stuff. The, the small-scale stuff, it's got its pros and cons. I don't think we need to be like, oh, I've got 700,000 health. That's just ridiculous. But my problem with small health pools is whenever I'm a tank and I'm built as a very survivalistic character as just you know I'm meant to take damage and I'm running around with you know 3300 health and then I've got this archer comes running up beside of me and he's like 2700 health all of a sudden I don't feel like a tank no more and I'm like wow and you're hitting harder than me and I think that that's where they're trying to get things is you want to be a tank and you have want to have tons of health because you've put these skill points in areas that is giving you these amounts of health. With the small pools, it's giving very, very minimalistic numbers. But if you have a larger pool to build off of, those percentages are bigger numbers. So, again, the, the numbers is going to have to be adjusted. That's the thing. And that's where it gets dangerous is how do you adjust them and make them work for the entire game. And that's where the, the dangers lie. You're you're exactly right, Guyan. He says the cookie cutting will still peep its ugly head in whenever whatever they do, because it's the elitist. Yeah, you know, MMOs will always have the number crutchers. Always, there's nothing that's going to be able to be done about it. But whenever You've got that guy that's not the number cruncher, and he makes a build, and it ends up beating that number cruncher, and that number cruncher is just so ticked off. He's like, how did you do that? It's because I put stuff into what I wanted, and it's working because I understand my build. That I think that's where Zenimachus is trying to get to. They're trying to get people away from this number crunching stuff and promote because you're playing how you want to play, you understand how it works, and you're making it work, you can kill stuff. And that I think that that's where the game needs to be heading. Make people feel like they can play how they want to play. Sometimes people like to play as a number cruncher, though. Yeah, they do. There's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> 
Torrenson, why not just boost the 0.015% number to make it more meaningful? Because that 0.015 number, so after you put like 50 points into the champion boost, which originally gave 1%, just another form of diminishing returns. First 1% boost, second point, point 0.9, etc. Yeah, and that's basically, you know, I, I know why they're doing that, and it is a concern that they're doing it. But if they made it raise, you know, that would just continue to broaden that that bridge of you've got the guy that has played ESO since day one that has just played the hell out of the game. And he is just running amok against these guys that are new to the game or they don't get to play as often and things like that. And if you didn't diminish some of that stuff down to kind of keep that gap close, but you're still allowing him to progress and get better and better stats, it's just not leaps and bounds. But as he does progress, he will be better than you know that lower level player that doesn't have as many points or whatever. And it's a good thing that they are uh, making that separation. There there does need to be a separation between players, some. But that bridge does not need to be so damn wide that, you know, it's like you see somebody instantly and they, they're running around with, you know, 105,000 health and you're like, no, how do you do that? And, you know, everybody else is running around with like 15K health. Yeah, that, that wouldn't Could be good. Could you imagine? <laughs> I feel like, oh my God. 105,000 health and doing like 30k damage per second. Uh, Bamela, did they say something about stacking food and drink buffs? Yes, that is coming. Yes. They told yeah. us it was coming in 1.3. Uh, I can't remember what patch they said last that it's coming, but it is coming. <laughs> I have, I'm stacked for recipes. I'm good. <laughs> I have the mountain logger and honey pudding stuff. I can get, I can get all that. Wow, that's a lot of hops though for that. Five mats for one drink. Whew. All right. Are there any more questions about uh, the the content that we just covered? If not, we're gonna wind this down. And uh, maybe try to get a veteran rank Crypto Hearts run in. And we can continue the discussion over this stuff. Because, I mean, it, it's going to affect everybody that's playing ESO. Most definitely. This stuff is big, big changes to this game. Uh, that's the reason I wanted to take the time for this episode to, you know, just put it all in one episode, one place. Let you guys discuss it, think about it, mill it over, and just, you know, slash feedback. Slash feedback. And uh, I will definitely drop the link where I got the notes from uh, as well off Tamriel Foundry. If you want to go sit there and read everything, it is a huge write-up. What I went over was not every single note that Atropos put down. But, uh, you know, the, to me, what I just went over was the meat and potatoes of what I felt needed to be said about what's coming. I'm one step ahead of you, Devo's already in there. Good deal. All right, we're going to go ahead and wind this episode up. So once again, guys, uh, definitely appreciate everybody tuning in for the live stream of ESO Recapped, episode number 30. If anybody's interested in joining up with the Great Architect community, we are a multi-gaming community, not just Elder Scrolls Online, but I do run the Elder Scrolls Online division, also one of the founders of the community. You can check us out at greatarchitect.us. Uh, go ahead and put in an application, get uh, get membership with us. If you just want to join the guild, you're welcome to join just the guild as a recruit with us and hang out. Uh, we're always looking for, for new members. doesn't matter the alliance. We're always here promoting, you know, to help people, just having fun. So uh, it's great architect. You can contact me in-game at Defatank if you want to get in. Also, Landakian, appreciate you hanging out in the, uh, the stream with me tonight, answering questions and helping uh, grab questions. Ops as well. Thank you for being here, and happy birthday to Ops as well. Don't Thanks. sing it, Defa. You don't get a copyright strike. I'm not going to sing. <laughs> uh, other than that, 
we're going to go ahead and wind this thing down. If you guys are looking for any more information about the Elder Scrolls Online, it's ElderScrollsOnline.com. Also hit the forums at forums.elderscrollsonline.com. There's a constant amount of information. Hit that dev tracker over on the right-hand side of the screen. You can see the most up-to-date information from the devs and what they're saying about the game. Um, other than that, that's a wrap. Appreciate everybody being here. Let's go back to playing some ESO.